The name's Wireless Runabean, WRB for short, and today we're breaking Guinness World Records like a gamer. And you may ask yourself, how, Wireless Runabean, do you intend to do this? Well, allow me to read you this passage. The most collectible items in any platform game is 3,821 held by UK developers Rare for Donkey Kong 64, released in 1999. Players can collect 201 golden bananas, 3,500 coloured bananas, 40 banana medals, 20 banana fairies, 40 blueprints, 8 boss keys, 10 battle crowns, 1 Nintendo coin, and 1 Rareware coin. <sighs> that was a mouthful. There are also many infinite supply items together, such as banana coins, watermelons, and headphones. After seeing this, I knew what had to be done. It was time to dethrone the king of the jungle. To have any success with this operation, I needed a plan. Now, to make a game on a scale as large as this, many components need to be factored in. Level design, character design, music? So where did I choose to start? Well, after some deliberation, I eventually settled on designing the main character. With this character inevitably being a huge focus of the game, it just made the most sense for me to do this. After all, if the whole game can be built around the character, it makes for a pretty solid foundation. So, I got to work on some concept art. Finally, it was ready. It was beautiful, amazing, a work of art, everything I could have possibly hoped for. This character was exactly what I needed. His name... Dave. My next step was to hire a professional spriter, and after many months of hard work, it was finally ready. Upon seeing this sprite, I could envision it already. The game was slowly coming together, little by little, in my head. The next thing I thought about was the music. It had to be something catchy, something upbeat, something refined. It needed to be something that would get the attention of the player, and stay in their heads for months after playing. Eventually, I ended up reaching out to famous musician and singer-songwriter Jesse Lingard, and we settled on using one of his original compositions for the background music. Bees, bees, bees! Yep, that checks all the boxes. <laughs> With the music and characters locked and loaded, most of my basic preparations were done. However, I still needed to figure out how exactly I was going to break the record set by Donkey Kong 64. After all, 3,821 collectibles wasn't exactly a low bar. My goal in this case was to beat DK64 at its own game. One-up it, if you will. And, quite literally, that's exactly what I did. The aptly named Bean Kong 65 will feature a wide range of collectibles, all of which are different types of coins. This includes 1,521 green coins, 750 yellows, 500 reds, 300 oranges, 300 light blues, 250 dark blues, 150 purples, 50 pinks, and one giant coin. Please tell me I never have to read one of those out again. <laughs> This makes for a grand total of 3,822 collectibles in total. Barely edging out DK over here. Now, all that I had to do was make this dream a reality. To make this game, I needed something special, something unique. I needed the finest game development software out there. I had to make this game from the ground up. Or in other words, I started from scratch. Using my incredible coding knowledge and programming skills, I toiled away and worked tirelessly on this game. For days, weeks, months, years, I poured my heart into making this perfect. With great difficulty, I made slow but steady progress. Scratch is one of the most complex programming languages out there, you see? So this was gonna take time. After what seemed like an endless amount of hard work and dedication, Bean Kong 65 had finally reached a playable state. 
So here it is folks, as you can see, rather than adopting DK64's 3D platformer approach, I decided to go 2D on this occasion. My goal right now is to collect all the coins that I can. You'll notice that the green and yellow coins are the most common types, with the others following suit. Now please continue to watch as I demonstrate my full playthrough of this game in a neat montage format for your viewing pleasure. If you want to play this game for yourself and experience it alongside me, the link will be down in the premiere chat. Right. About. Now. Three, two, one, go! Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, one hundred and forty-four, one hundred and forty-five, four hundred and fifty-six, four hundred and fifty-seven, eight hundred and ninety-four, eight hundred and ninety-five, eight hundred and ninety-six, one hundred and fifty-two, one thousand three hundred and fifty-four. 1,556, 1,857, 1,895, 2,001, 2,352, 2,355, 2,500, 2,501, 3,817, 3,818, 3,819, 3,820, 3,821. And will you look at that? The giant coin. Let's finish this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have finally done it. The record held by Donkey Kong 64 for over 12 years has finally been broken, and I couldn't be happier to have been the one to do so. Quite honestly, I feel accomplished. I feel proud of what I've done, and I hope you all feel the same way. This has been an incredible adventure, and one that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Bean Kong 65 has made my dreams a reality, and, quite frankly, I never thought I'd see the day. Donkey Kong 64 has nothing on us so for...